you've probably got a laptop that is a couple of years old by now. You know, something like this with a HD display, you know, that 1366 by 768. It's a TN panel and maybe you don't feel like upgrading to a new laptop. Maybe you feel that this laptop is perfectly fine for your needs. And I mean, come on, with the current situation of overpriced computer hardware, you may not just be that interested in buying a new laptop unless you have to, but you have been looking at those new laptops and those displays look sick, you know, like, mm. <laughs> you know, they've got that 1080p IPS great viewing angles that are way better than a TN panel. Look at that. <laughs> So the question is, if you don't want to upgrade to a new laptop, is it possible to get one of those really nice displays onto your current one? I am going to tell you you can, and I am going to show you how. So the first thing we're going to need to know is what display your laptop is currently using. To do this, download and load up Hardware Info 64 and under the monitor section, it should mention it under the monitor name. And uh, in my case of the ASUS X550DP, it is the Inolux N156BGE-L41. We're going to take that string of letters and numbers and head over to panelloop.com and punch it into the search bar. If all goes well, you get a result that looks something like mine. It's okay if yours shows more than one result. And from here, we're going to hit Customize and Enable Size, Fixation, Interface, and Pins. These are the four most important things that you need to know about your existing display, as it tells you how big your display is, how it's affixed to your laptop, what communications protocol it uses, and for some interfaces, how many pins it uses. We now head into advanced search and put all the information uh, that we want here. So for my example, I'm going to look for a display with the uh, up and down face mounting via slugs is 15.6 inch uses an LVDS connection. And I'm also going to specify the type of display that I'm looking for. So a 1920 by 1080 display using IPS technology. Hit submit and you should see a list of compatible displays. You can also hit customize again to add in the display type, but basically this list of models is what you're going to want to look for. In my case, I chose the LP156WF4-SLB3, so I headed over to my e-commerce platform of choice, Taobao, uh, but you can also use eBay or AliExpress or Amazon and purchase the display. The display that arrived was a bit uh, different, unfortunately. They sent me the L156WF4-SLB1, and that only has a bottom mounting brackets to mount the display onto. But other than that, it should be perfectly fine, and missing a top retention bracket isn't exactly the end of the world. To install the display, I remove the bezels that is held on via plastic clips as well as two screws down the bottom. So once I remove and pop those off, it comes off pretty easily. Four screws hold the existing display in place, so I unscrew those and carefully tilt the display towards me and remove the LVDS cable by lifting the adhesive and sliding the connector off. Place the new display in, connect the LVDS cable, then lay it back, screw the display in place, place the bezel back on, screw that back on, and power it on to see whether our mod was a success. And <laughs> yep, it's working. And just look at that display. It looks so much better now with a much larger resolution, colors and viewing angles. So I am super happy with this mod. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a like. If you've got any questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you would like to see more reviews and repair videos from me, uh, well, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and notified with the bell icon for any future videos. Yeah. Oh, and uh, don't forget to share this video as, uh, as well yeah. <laughs> if you uh, think it is cool. And if you decide to do this mod for yourself, make sure to tag me on Twitter or Facebook, whatever. I'd love to see how it turned out for you. Thanks again for watching. My name is Yang the Tech Rodent and I absolutely love repairing stuff and nothing is more satisfying than, you know, seeing something that, I don't know, would have been thrown away. Just have such 
a wonderful life again. Yeah. So cool. Look at that. IPS. <laughs> uh.